Hi everybody. Hi there. Hey Oaks Crafter. How are you doing? We've got a little Rosie over here. Lie down baby. I'm just going to make her lie down. Lie down. You're going to end up falling off. Lie down. There, good girl. Good girl. You are, aren't you? A pretty girl. Right. How is everybody? Today is... Hey, look, I can do it again. Although, I must still be really swollen because this hurts now. It is Friday the 9th. Oh, yeah. It's baby Eden's third birthday today. Our little granddaughter. Three. How did that happen? Anyway. So, don't think I've got out to say. Um, if you're new, pop over to our Facebook group, Hardy the Yorkshire Crafter. Come in and enjoy. Have fun. We just say no selling and no um, promoting anyone. Apart from that, anything's a go. Loads and loads of mixed brands. It's great. You don't have to get some ideas. Right, let's crack on. So, a month, two months ago, I did, um, well, people call it ghost technique. People call it um, shadow technique. So I did it with stencils. And I got asked to do it with stamps. But um, something happened. Oh. But um, I'm doing it now. So let's do it. So we're going to do... I'm going to do a shaped card. In fact, I might as well show you. I thought I had the wrong one. Then. I don't know where my magnet is. I don't have a piece of magnet with it. So we're using the Mama Elephant Archers. And I've cut the panel out that we're using. I need to change my base plate on my machine. That's my base plate. I mean, it'll come clean if I wash it, but it's not about that. It's actually marking the bottom of my card. This is um, a card base. Look at the marking. I don't know if you can see it. It's got all marking. I mean, it's not bad, but I think it's ready. I've got spares. As soon as I get rid of that one, I put the top one on the bottom and put a new one in then. Get this money's worth out of them. So, what I've done... Uh, this is Gina K Craft cardstock, so it, it's quite a good one. And I've just cut that panel. This is the biggest one in the set. So I've cut that panel. Then I've took a card base and I've stuck it down with tape. You keep that edge away from that cut. You just keep it on the inside like that. Tape it down and run it through your machine. Then when you take it out, it obviously hasn't cut there because you had your cutting side over it here. So then you've got your side open and your panel that fits because you've used the same die. So then we've taken this again and the missed one and then the next one down. We've... Oh gosh... I'm going to have to put my splint on. We are taping it like that. I also put tape on the sides here. And running it through the card machine till I've got three of these. Three frames. And then we are gluing them together. I thought I'd glued them together already. Well, I'm guessing I didn't. Hey, I really thought I had. Right, so I'll glue them now so they've got the time to dry anyway. And you know they're all the same size because you've cut them straight while it's been taped down. So all three are the same size. Okay. You don't have to um, lay the arches up. I just think it gives it a, a nice look. Well, it's a bit of card in it. So why not? And then the third one. I've got 50% battery, so I'm hoping. I've had to change my cable because mine were duff and 
this cable that Andy's given me to use doesn't reach from the socket here to the phone. I mean, I wouldn't mind it's close, isn't it? But it doesn't reach. So there you go. There's your three layered arch. So that can be put away now. I don't think we need it again. There you go. Put it away and keep it tidy. So we'll put that tip back. We're going to use a good old faithful stamping platform. You need a stamping platform for this. I mean, I think we use them all the time anyway, don't we? If you don't like me, you do. So I've cut a spare one. So it's just a one layer. And I'm going to put it. Not gluing it around, just giving it a, a place so I know what I'm playing with. I don't want to put it to the side, uh, put my stamps to the side and then this cover it up. So we're going in Killishes today and we're using the Fantasy Dandelion. It's a good old stamp is this one. I've used this for all sorts, you've got to look back on my videos. So, I'm going to put it slightly to the right. And I'm actually going to lift it up because I did a dummy run, sort of. And I didn't really have a lot of space for sentiment. And I do if I had to put it there now. So that looks okay. I'll go with that. So I'm going to stamp it up in brown for this card. You can do these on any card, on any colours, on anything. I've done one on pink. I just prefer this look. But I'm also going to try something in a minute that I haven't tried. So that's pine cone. Oh, I thought I picked one colour then. So I'll probably stamp this a couple of times. Don't you start panning yet, we've only just started. Yeah, I'll give it another go. I mean, it's just lovely on its own, this stamp, isn't it? Just look at that. Don't really have to do it with it. It's very versatile, is that the word? Yeah, it's a good old stamp, I like this one. That looks good to me. So I'm gonna clean that off with our stamp cleaner. Look up our video, there's no better. And it smells so good. Now what people do here, they move the card. So potentially you would move it down a bit, just a little bit and then a bit to the right. For me, I find it easier to line the stamp back up which is dead easy, that's lined up. And now I'm going to push up a tiny bit and then push to the left about the same amount. And the reason why I like to... Oh, I moved it too far. I'll tell you what, let's start again. Put it back on the stamp. That looks like it's on. So pushing up and pushing to the left. A couple of millimetres that way. A couple of millimetres that way. Now if I show you, if you can work it out where the stamping is, you can see where it's going to shadow it. That's why I prefer to put my stamp on rather than move my card. So the only problem I've got now is my ink pad is quite dry. And I'm going to go over it in white, but I think I might change to this one as well. because I've done it with both. This one just took a lot of coverage. So I'll give it one go and see how it does now. I didn't really want to um, ink it up now while using it because if it starts getting too inky, it's just going to ruin the whole thing. So I'll see how this works. Um, 
It might do it. Let's try again. Let me just now you see this one might be too wet because this was re-inked yesterday I think for something else not to do with this wait a minute I missed a bit mm -hmm. let's have a look it might work with both might it Yeah, I think that's work. I think that's it. What do you think? I don't take it up yet. I need to hold it away. Hmm. Yeah, I can see it through camera. It looks better through camera than it does actually face to face, which is normally a bit different, isn't it? So yeah, we'll go with that one. Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah. I'm going to clean this off. I've been using these instead of them tidy towels and stuff. And do you know what? They're fantastic. And I've got the idea. I use a, well, I've got, I think I've got 12 in a pack. It was um, actually a Jennifer Maguire thing. But do you know what? They're brilliant. They're actually dishcloths. In fact, I'm going to get some for downstairs. Not that we need any dishcloths. We've got tons. Better cover that ink up and so put that one away. So that's your stamping done, apart from my sentiment. Actually, I'll do it now while it's in. So I'm gonna do a thank you. Because I'm running out of thank you cards. And again, I'm gonna put this on just so as I can get me. Now you see, when I did it earlier, I gold embossed it and the gold's a bit lost. So I'm going to do it in the pine cone. And I'm not going to, I don't know, I could put clear embossing over it, but I'm not. Because that's not shiny, that's just like matte, isn't it? I'm going to keep it that way. I mean, I could always add embossing to it, if I, uh, embossing powder if I want, can't I? But I'll have a look and see what I think of it, how it looks first. So the sentiments from Inkylicious as well. I love this one. I send so many thank you cards. So yeah, this is definitely a, a good one for me. Oh, I like that so much better than what I did in gold. I mean, there's no wrong with the gold one. I just, my eyesight, I don't struggle to see this one. So nice and all, isn't it? Lovely written. There we go. So that one can come out now. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do all colour first. It's easy enough, isn't it? And then we're not having to get one thing out, put one thing away. So the next one I'm going to try is, all right then, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a plain square one. I know this one will work, so there's no problem with this one, because I've had a go at this one. I just haven't made it into a card. So same again, I've done exactly the same. We've got the card base. Have we got the card base? Where's the card base? As it happens, I do have some ready. I just want to make sure that that fits. Because if not, I shall cut it down a tad. Yeah, I'll cut that down a tad before I start. Let me see. Right, I'll just cut a tiny bit off end now. I 
should I use the same colour card, shouldn't I? This is Nina, this is Pink Frog. Two totally different colours. That fits now, I'm okay with that. So I've done exactly the same. I've kept them there to show you. Just miss one out, put your next one in and make your frame. And again, I've cut three of them out. And that gives you a standard four and a quarter by five and a half, which is American A2. So I've got two stuck together. No, we haven't. There you go, there's three there. It's because I never made the dummy card, that's why. It's what I call me, me messing about one. And that fits on that. Fine. Perfect. So we're going to use Fantasy Floral. This is a belter for this. I wonder if that will fit in. Live the life you love. Let's have a look. I want the single one. That'll do. So we know we're going to pull it down. We know we're going to push it up and we're not going to take it to the left. So if we start a bit to the right, that'll do. Make sure it's fitting in. So it wants to come down a bit. Yeah, I don't think that word's going to fit anywhere. Let's have a look. Oh, it could pass. Oh, that'd look nice, I think. Like. So we'll go with that. Might push it a little bit more. Right, we'll go with that. Exactly the same thing. I'm sticking with the same colour for this one. That bit look oh no stick with it stop stop thinking about it just do it such a good stamp in there I think this one and the one I've just shown you are my most used for floral for Inkylicious. And the one we're going to use next, I haven't used yet, but I've had it just the same length of time, so that's good. Yep, yeah, that looks good to me. A bit clean. I think maybe people move the cardstock so that they don't have to touch the stamp. That when you move your cardstock down and move it on and you put your ink on and stamp it, you've no idea where you're going. You, you're just guessing, aren't you? I mean, it's all guessing, but at least I can see through it this way. So I'm going to line it up nice and easy. Uh, we go. So I'm going to push it up and take it to the left. That's it. Seeing what I can see, looks pretty good. Now then, I don't know which ink pad to use. I think that just picks some brown up then. Go with this one first again. I know in group um, you've all just been talking about the white ink pads and somebody, because I mentioned this one, this is my favourite and a lot of other people's favourite and then somebody mentioned the archival. Um, no, not archival, that's the archival. Yeah. Um, the Ranger pigment ink. I mean, mine's as dead as I don't know what. There's only water coming out of it. No white whatsoever. I mean, it shouldn't be watery, really. But I've never liked that one. That's going to look lovely when it's done. 
so you just keep putting as much white on until you're ready for when well, you think it's good enough not what anybody else is going to think just for you Rosie lie down you're going to fall off I'll give you a cuddle when I've finished I'm going to try this one again Just a bit worried about it being too wet. Actually, because we're um, moving on and doing all the stamping first, they've got time to dry in between anyway, haven't they? All right, that could be pretty dry now. Not quite, but it's that's the thing with white ink. It always stays wet for a long time, in my opinion. Lie down, baby. Should have brought some water up, shouldn't I? That's better. Right, I'll do one more light one of that. And then we'll do last colour. So I've cut two pieces of card for the next one in case this, what we're going to try doesn't work. I'm hoping it'll work. I'm not pressing too hard. I mean, the really good quality stamps, but even so, with it being so wet, I don't want it to slip on it and, you know, distort the picture out. The white comes off so easy and all. There you go. So we'll put that one away. I am forever. I know somebody says to me, make um. What do you call it? Make a, you know, an hinge. Hinge? That's the right word, isn't it? So you don't lose your acetate sheet. That's still losing. Even when I do that. Right, I'm going to see if, I, if I've got room to put this in. that extra on there right let me look because I didn't use this one before that looks all right does that and again I'm going to go in the dark brown because I really liked that so that can come out again yeah I thought it looked quite nice I should stamp in the um, dark brown more often I think it just sets it off and all, doesn't it? I love working on craft card stock. I had to order some. I didn't have any. I didn't want it for this project. I wanted it for something else that I'd just done. I did it yesterday. What did I do? Oh, yeah. It's a video coming up. In fact, it's um, for this Sunday's live, the Tracy Evans live. Oh, that's got a mark in it. Put a little dot there. I've took it out now, but it's okay. It's okay. We're going with it anyway. So that one's done. Put that one in there. There's a stencil to go with this. If you haven't seen me use this with the stencil, you should pick that video up. It's brilliant. Even if I do say so myself. So, so far, we've got this one. So cool, isn't it? I hope you can see what I can see. I love it. Right, so now, this is trial and error. I'm just going to have a quick drink of my pop. So I've already thought about the sentiment I'm going to put on after. This has got a pattern around it. So this is from the Spellbinders Mini Slim Line Envelope. And I've used, it gives you the envelope. It's a right little fancy posh envelope. And it gives you, that's the dotted one. So that would go inside there. 
and then there's a thinner one and then there's a thinner one till it comes into a little thin strip i've just put the oh there's the other one with that pattern on but this is a brilliant set it really is but it's from 1921 1921 it's when my grandma was born um 2021 that would have been in front wouldn't it 1921 right so this is the poppy silhouette this is where it's trial and error actually i don't know if i might have changed my mind because what i was going to do was stamp it in red but look at all the greenery um i don't know what to do stick with the brown or go for it It's too fussy for me to be messing. Do you know what? I've cut two on purpose. So I'm going to do one in red and I'm going to do one in brown. See how it goes. Might not work. The red might not even work. I just wanted the red on the flowers. Um. Oh, I don't know what to do. I was just thinking of... I don't think it'll work if I mix them up. Where's there a dark green? Where's there a dark green? One second, see if I can grab this. I don't know if it's worth doing it in green, cleaning these off, doing them in red. I don't know what effect it'll give it. I think it might just be too much messing about. And it's taking it off further down the stem. No, it's too much messing about. But you know what? I am going to stamp it in red and see what it looks like. Let me just sit her in a bed. She's got out of it. Rosie, get in your bed. Come on. Told you you'd fall, didn't I? Lie down. Lie down. Stay. We're nearly done, kid. The hard part's done. So, I opted for strawberry. So, I'm hoping this is going to be red enough. See, I know the stem shouldn't be red. Who says? Hmm, I think it might have worked better in my head. Oh, let's give it a go. Actually, it should work fine because I've just done a pink one of the other flower that we just did. And I think it looks absolutely fine. I just think, you know, because it's poppy, um, I just wanted the flowers to stand out more, if you know what I mean. So we've got it lined up, up a little bit, left a little bit. That looks pretty good to me. Let's have a look. It might not work because these lines might might be too thin. Hmm. It might just be proving me wrong. Honestly, you only need one ink pad. It's just, that's dry and this is too juicy. So 
So I'm just trying to find a happy medium. And trying not to push down too much on me. Normally I'd push down or use my Scooby tool. That didn't go down at all. Oh. Last one. Don't want to use that one. I like it. I'm happy with it. So I'm not even going to bother with a brown one. I wish I could ask you if you wanted to see a brown one. That looks good, doesn't it? I really like it. Do you know what? We've got it cut. Let's give it a quick brown. See how it looks compared. It's a quick technique, really. And I like showing you, like, with different stamps, so you... It helps you look through your own stash then. You might have a single big flower. You might have a huge. You could do it with stencils, which I've already shown you. Or you might just have a little delicate one like this. You definitely need a stamping platform. For sure. Take it off. Line it up. You'll be seeing this in your sleep. Up a bit. Left a bit. Ah, that looks pretty good. Line it up. Up a bit. Left a bit, line it up, up a bit, left a bit. Told you, didn't I? I'm going to go straight in with this one. Watch me ruin it now. I'm so tempted to just squash my pad onto it. Oh, I see. Oh, my goodness. It makes it just look totally different. one better. Oh, I don't know now. Should have just stuck with one, shouldn't I? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, sentiment wise, I think I'm just going to put one across here. You know, one that I don't do on on card. On to that card, should I say. I don't know. Looking at what you can see. Oh, I don't know. I can't decide. I've only got one base cut, so I'll cut another base after. Come on, where's the acetate? Can you see it? There it is. I will learn one day. I will make them into hinges and I'll still lose them. Put that back on. Stop me drying up. Right, that's all finished. 
It never hurts to have two different ink pads, does it? Right. Put it away. Go back to the first one. That's the three in there. Yep. I'm just going to wipe my hands, they're a bit sticky. I don't know what that's about. Oh, that's better. Wipe them on your bottoms. Right, where's my, my frames in? Look. So, I, I, I could have put my, fo my form round, you know, just run my form round and have it standing away from it that way. But it it worked fine. And I was already cutting them, so that would be just as easy, wouldn't it? I mean, you could have cut it, cut the base out of craft cardstock and just stamp straight direct onto your base. Even easier, well, cheaper, but I, I just prefer to do them like this. Yeah, that fits everywhere. So I'll take my frame. That looks pretty good to me. How cool does that look? Do you love it? <laughs> Do you love it? Do you love my work? I'm using Pink Fresh Studio. These are the Ombre Glit Drop Sparkle and Shine. I've got loads of all different ones of these. I love them. So I'm going to put one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. That was a commitment, wasn't it? It's only because that's where I put it on my original one. And the glue dries clear. You know, we've got the raffle coming up soon. It's everybody wanted a Heidi Essentials, they called it. <laughs> um, and I've included in it the tin with these in. They come in a little tin, don't they? Um, that's part of the raffle. I need a bit more glue on there. And I never thought I should have looked at putting some of these um, triangles in. Okay. We'll be coming back to that, so I'll just leave them there. So that's your number one. I love it. This was the original. This is what I mean by it's not hard to see the thank you. So I much prefer doing it in the the dark. That one's different to this, isn't it? 
I'm trying to look through the camera to see what you see. So we've got them. Then this one's nice and easy again. Oh, that's not cut right at the bottom. That's terrible. Well, if I put it this way, I can cut it off after. Yep. Yeah. Where's the panel that I just cut down? I'm just going to cut a tiny sliver off. So I glue this down just same. This is just same, but just obviously a different stamp and a different shape kind of. It's nice to do different shapes though. It's funny for me to do a card where the panel fits the whole card because it's something I struggle with. That's why I always have a little bit taken off mine. okay that so this was the panel we've got ready was it nope it's there look so this is the three panel and if it gets like mine is I just use these sometimes there's a little bit of you know what I call it air paper air These are really cheap. They're for your nails. But they're only really cheap. They're great. There you go. That's done. I'll tell you what else looks nice and all. Once you've got your panel on, if you go around it with your clear wink of Stella, it just gives you a shiny panel, doesn't it? Now then, you won't notice, but I notice that one of these corners is thinner than the other. And it's that one. So I'm going to put it that way around. I don't think you'd have noticed if I hadn't set out. So I'll get that to sit. Oh, I think that looks lovely. I've done with my card here, I just haven't cut it right. Look at the that look nice with the frame. So I'll show you. This was just me messing earlier. That one was really deep, but I think it looks either 3D or blurred. I can't make my mind up. Yeah, I really can't decide. That was the original one did and that to me is just perfect like this one that's just same I just did it not enough white because it was just a mess about and then I stamped it in pink on pink cardstock and I think that looks pretty good so that will also be made into a card but so will these that's really um if I look through the camera at what you're looking at it feels like I can grab all of it but when I look at it face to face it looks blurred so i can't make my mind up with that so there you go let's put a few of these on gosh we're going to be done early again i've got to go downstairs and sort out the giveaway for the weekend anyway so that's okay right loads of room on here for gems why is it doing that? There we go. Can you see how it's two-toned? It's silver and gold. I love them. I think we'll go there. And there. Now I'm either putting three or five. I always put an odd number, which is a crafty rule, apparently. 
I just think it looks better. I must admit though, if somebody sends me a card, I count the gems if they've got gems on. Whether that's just a, a weird me, I don't know. I'll go on in there. I'll go on there. I think actually five's enough. I'll leave them out because we're going to put them on this brown one. Oh yeah, that's enough. Is that a top? Oh, that's a weird way around with the end. That's it, even if you can see it glue, it dries clear, so it's okay. I don't know if you can hear Lexi, but she's downstairs and she's snoring like I don't know what. She's at Vets tomorrow, so we'll find out what's happening with her heart. Oof, scary times. There you go, I think that's lovely. Yeah, lovely. So this, I've only got one base crowd. I can always cut another, it doesn't take two minutes. Now then. Now then, now then, now then. Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to put that one on and I will put this on because you'll see it photo but I'm just going to do this one after because I don't have another base done but I'm going to pad this one I'm going to use these because they'll be a bit quicker and I'm melting there's a full roll of these in the drawer as well the raffle um, how many is on a roll? a thousand but a lot of time I cut them in half, so that gives you 2,000, doesn't it? So yeah, it's a, it's a really good raffle. I think it's valued, I think me and Andy added it up just over 140. I won't mind winning it, put it that way. There you go, that's nice and easy, isn't it? In fact, I'll cut a panel down. I might as well do it and with this other one. I don't know if it's going to be a bit lost. Right, I'm just going to guess. So please be good to me. Not bother about bottom. I can cut a bit off. It looks all right. A few gems. We're going to have a sentiment across there. So let's put a few gems on. See what we want. I've stuck with this colour for um, the gems because they look all right. I'm just going to get a piece of, give me a bit of this. This is masking magic. Just so I have an idea of, so if I'm going to put a sentiment there, I can keep away from with the gems. So there, there, I think we'll come down here with a big one. Medium. Might put a few more on this. Don't like that big one. Not long, rosy dog. Um, I want a thin one. No, I mean a small one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'm going to move that one to that side and take a small one up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm done. Watch me knock them all off. One. Two. 
uh, it's not easy pressing your gun with your left hand. I'm melting, guys. I don't know what sentiment I'm going to put on. Although, I've got some of these, although it's in silver. If I did it in gold, I'll see what it looks like, won't I? Hello, friend. I think that'd look nice in gold, because it'd stand out and all. What do you think? It's just small enough for it, isn't it? What do you think then, guys? Oh, amazing. So I'll cut a panel down and we'll put some different coloured gems on. I've got lots of time. I'll just do the same with that. Somewhere around there for the doodah. Let's see what we've got in red. Pinks and purples. I don't know if I've got red actually. That's the pinky colour. That's got red in it. Red and gold. Is that the same one? Yeah, that's why it looked good. Oh, red. We'll go with red. If you watch my um, craft room tour, I've got a full drawer of stuff like this as well. Um, I'll just cut the panel and I'll tell you what I'm cutting it down to then. I'll just cut it. And then I'll show you when that where I crease it. So So I've cut it at six and a half by six and a quarter. And you know, if, if you get confused about which way to mark it, take your panel and think, right, that's too big. That's just right. That's how I do it. And I think it is the six and a half, actually. Yeah, six and a half. So from the six and a half, you're going to cut it down to, you're not going to cut it at all. You're going to go three and a quarter to score. There we go. I don't know what's happened to my paper. Look, it's done it there and all. That's terrible. It must be me that's doing it. I wonder if I've got some caught on it. I'll have a look at it after. That's really bad. If I put it to the front, oh no, I can't put it to the front because you'll see it, won't you? Yeah, that'll do, I think. Put some more pads on it. They come on a massive roll. I don't know if I just said, but I've cut them down. Because every time I run rolling it, it was bending over like that. So I'll just cut them down in it strips like this. So much easier to manage. Oh, 
for one bedtime. There we go. Gosh, I've been, I emptied my bin two days ago and it's full. so please be good to me uh, it looks pretty good well it does need cutting down a bit here but that's fine then because that gives me time to trim that on back as well but I'll do that after don't think I've used these ones oh they're very red So, where's the other one? I'll just go off that. It's easier than messing about. I'll have a big in here. Oh, they're super. Let's go there. Mm, there. I think the rest were just small, weren't they? Why do the tiny ones never sit the right way around? They're lovely, they don't have stand out. Come on, turn over. Thank you. One more. One more little one. Wow, they stand out so much more. I'm going to do it the other way around. That's better. I'm going in my right hand. Wow, there's loads of glue coming out. What have I done now? So I'll put sentiment over there. Which is your favourite in them two? I really can't make my mind up. But I think this is my favourite. I thought I wish I'd put something different now, but when you see it where I am, they stand out lovely. But looking at what you're looking at, you don't see it much. And this is what I'm saying, if you put Wink Stella on this, then you've got a shine as well, a glitter. A sprinkle, a uh, twinkle. I think there's too much shadow on this one. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. That was the follow-up video from my uh, one that I did with stencils. So if you want to see that one, go back and have a look at the stencil one. And now I'm just under the hour, so I'm going to go before it hits it. Happy crafting, guys. Thanks for being here. Love you all. Bye-bye.